in this example, we are in a studio with 24 analog outputs and um, we'll be using six of them to set up our personal monitor mixers. Okay, now we'll go for a bit of a tour of the studio. So here's the control room. Out of here, we're sending two uh, lines stereo, two lines into this little Behringer mini mixer for the vocalist. Um, they'll be listening through headphones, obviously, to their, their monitor mix and singing into their mic. In the main room, we're taking four lines out, so that's two stereo pairs. And these are for bass and drum monitor mixes. They are going into a couple of Behringer PowerPlay uh, headphone amps. So one each. So they get a stereo mix into there as at where our drummer would sit. The additional hardware we need to set up the control for the monitors is just a cheap wireless router, which I've cabled into the studio computer with a uh, Cat5 cable. And then our musicians bring a wireless device with a browser, such as a phone or a tablet, and they just will need to log on to this wireless network. The next stage is setting up our project in Reaper. So we need to make a monitor track for each of the musicians. Here I'm setting up the drums monitor track. That gets sends from various parts of the drum kit. I've gone for the kick, the snare, overheads and a room mic. Then they'll need to hear the bass player and the vocalist. Right, now these scents all need to be pre-fader, that's pretty important. This is what the musician themselves will control, they'll control their own level from here. And likewise we don't want any of the drummers fiddling, feeding into our mix, so we, we uncheck that. Now we've got to set up output for this track to some hardware, which are the converter outputs that we've already patched into the um, headphone amp. Okay, so now just tweak those levels a bit to get the drummer started. Repeat the process for the bass player's monitor mix. So add a new track, bass. Give them just the minimal sends they need, so just the drum submix will do. Themselves, which is the bass submix of amps and DI, and then they want to hear the vocalist. Don't forget, uncheck that master parent send button in the top left corner, that's pretty important and find your converter outputs which you've patched into the studio. Did we forget something? Yes, we've got to set these sends to be pre-fader. Okay. Nearly ready to go. We now just set up the control surface with the wireless online. We add a new web browser, and Reaper will assign an automatically assign a URL with that port, which musicians just need to, once they're on the network, browse to in their browser. Once they're on that page, once they've been served the page, they need to then select their monitor track. And that gives a menu that looks like this. We're looking at the vocals example. Bugs at the ballroom on Main Street.
was in a boxcar headed east. Reaching on a soapbox with some style Riding down gospel and lipstick on the top